Fizzwinks here in Millis, Massachusetts. I'm Bob Lee here with Matt Rich, and we have a doozy for you today. Class A South. We got the Roadrunner Rob Linehan up against 2022 defending um, from the 2022 ICBA Worlds team as they uh, prepare to go north in a couple in a couple weeks. Jeremy Seaholm, also a longtime manager here. I'm gonna hand it over to Matt Rich and gentlemen, start your engines. Thanks, Bob. Pleasure to be here, Ryan's family. Let's have a doozy, says Jeremy. Let's do it. Let's have a doozy. Rob will lead off. Yeah, Rob's a home bowler today, but yeah. he's, he's elected to set the tone, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Trying to put a little pressure on Jeremy to start. First ball on the head pin. Rob's eight. Looking at the six ten. A little wood in front. That wood is angled, so you might want to use it. Let's see. Oh, oh, didn't hit it in the right spot. Wanted to hit that right on the red stripe, drive it back. With, with Rob's ball, very left to right from the lefty. Nice 10 out of it. A lot of spin on that ball, a lot of action. Got a good break, just couldn't take advantage of the first one. Yeah, but Matt, the question everybody else, everybody has, how many steps does he take? That's a great question. <laughs> He's on the head pin again, drops everything but the seven. Two for two on the head pin. See if we can count the steps next time. I, I have, and it, it seems to vary. <laughs> I think it's five that time. Rob all over for the spare. Good start. Not his favorite pin, the seven pin, but he hits it square. Oh, fill ball just a little off the head pin gets really unlucky with a three fill. Didn't miss the head pin by much, but only takes three. Oh, found that scene. Call it the uh, two hole. <laughs> Just pluck the eight pin. Still six pins clear for Linehan, uh, Mansfield resident. Right. Takes a few. Ends up with a seven box there. So he's had 30 after three. On his box, as we say. What's Rob, um, Rob's been carrying. An average around 117 this year, is that right? 115, 115 millis? Uh, it sounds about right. I, I don't <laughs> yeah. know exactly to be on, off the top of my head. But yeah, I think it's right around the 115, 117. Yeah, in a really good pocket hit right there. Got left with a tough break. And right through the hole. So Rob here just looking for a couple of these. Maybe take that 610, bounce something off the wall, maybe take another one with it. Just grab one for a seven. That's two, two seven boxes in a row. In a row. Oh. That's a negative spare. Average spare fill is about six and a half. Is he six up? Wait, I don't know. <laughs> one old bowlers think I, about I, it that way. I, I, I had never heard of it that way. <laughs> Ten pin didn't load, and he's gonna get us get a free rack here. With 10 pins, I think he prefers to throw a 10. No, I, I prefer to throw it a lot less. But Following the rules of the game is always <laughs> nice. That's a good ball. Four or Again, five? Right in the pocket. Left with a split, unfortunately, but he does have one to work with. I want to go right on that four pin, see if he can send a piece of wood over to the 10. Right there, that's what he wanted to do. Great shot. Wow. Just realized my uh, spear counter's on the wrong side. Great shot by Rob Linehan to sit down on it. Seven and a ball. Or Jeremy Seaholm. I think he's average about 119, 120 in the. Or maybe more. I think he's at 125, actually. Sorry. Well, misses the head pin, but gets a good lead. The head pin, the three and the nine. A little wood in the right, maybe that'll help. Jeremy 
on the head pin, and it takes it off the wall for a spare to start. I'm not sure if you would have liked to play the head pin on the left side, but it worked. Right on the head pin from the fill ball, drops an eight. We have a seven and nine with lots of wood on the deck. I think you'd want to go right in between the pieces of wood. Let's see. Here he goes, gives it a ride. Two marks in a row, two spares, two great spares. Germany feeling good at the start. That one when he threw it. I dreaded half was there. Seahole's been working, uh, doing office work since leaving as the, the manager here at Ryan's. Oh, puts a bit on it. Great ball. Drops everything but the nine again. Yeah, I, I hear he's really enjoying this new work. He's happy for him. He, he's bowling a lot. He says he's bowling a lot better. <laughs> Oh, the nine. too bad. A piece of wood did not help there. That's a nine box. So Jeremy's at 39 after three, so he's got a nine pin lead with uh, completed boxes. Wow. Great ball. Right in the pocket. Drops everything but one. We got a four on the head pin. See home. He's dead on. Three marks and four boxes. Way to start. Looking for a good fill ball here. I don't think he liked that when he left his hand, but it's more than two than he thought. It's a six fill. I'll have to correct that on the scoreboard here. Great bid on the shot by Jeremy. Oh, is it? The box reset on him. So he's going to get that uh -oh. back. Okay, so he's got to take the fill. We keep the fill a six. Yep. Okay. But then you get the full box over. And he has, he has a chance to uh, mark it, I guess. That, that only only to his advantage as long as he... Uh, yeah. I'm not sure why the, I mean, the lane reset on it. Because they have, to be, they have to press the button for it. I think they're... Now. Yeah, I, I haven't seen that. <laughs> they they fixed, they changed the um, system about a month ago here, at Ryan's, to to require that you reset it because you know, the action has been so extraordinary. Yeah. There you go. All right now, I'm not giving him a head pin for that though because he missed the head pin initially. So I'm going to call him three for five, three for five on the head you're, pin. You're a tough grader. I am. I, I, you got to have standards somewhere. <laughs> But he, and he actually got six on the fill yep. by the rules of bowling, and uh, he will not make the spare. He was headed for a nine or a ten before, right? Uh, yep. He didn't make the spare, so he's negative. Nope. And now we're all caught up now. All the all the karma should be evenly. Yep. There. That's a ten box for Jeremy. So six. we'll keep the six fills. Sixty-five ten half. Box. See home. <laughs> That's right. When you keep your it's much easier. Yeah, could it could have yeah. theoretically been one, right? Here comes Linehan for his first in the sixth. Oh, Ouch. Like that Ouch, that was a was that the three six? Yes, sir. Oh my. That is one of the rarer disasters. Oh, I'm trying to work it out, grab a few. Linhan's ball, 29 miles an hour when it hits the head pin. Um, don't have my uh, speed gun with me today. Another seven, that's his third seven box in this, this first game. The rough is a little off at the moment. 
two marks. I bowled with, with Rob for years in, in the Wednesday Night League here at Millis. And, you know, he, he throws such an active ball. So it's a little flat at the moment, but he sure will find it. Very flat. That's a, see, that was a perfectly accurate ball. It's just not, not the rotation that he normally gets. Usually when Rob's just off the head, he still takes a whole lot of not, not so far today, but it'll come. Ouch. Okay. Drop, he, he puts the ball down, I would, I want to say, between the uh, four and the seven pin. It crosses over. A, a lot of that spin and that action comes from this ball moving across like that. Yeah. Another missed head pin there. See, see, this is a good working ball. Yep, still still right. drops seven after missing a head pin. He's got a great setup for the spare, too. Hit that head pin and it goes. Boom. That's exactly what he did. Welcome back. Third spare in the first string for Rob Linehan. Seal already has three in the first half. Don't want to load this up and keep this close, Jerry. Oh, no. Oh. See? Anybody else, that ball, that would take two. Now Rob. Nice eight drop. That's the one nine. 36 inches between those two pins. They look real close, but. Uh, misses the head pin. We're, we're happy to have our friends from TikTok behind us also broadcasting this match. All right, so the eight pill put him to 80, 82, now he's at 91 through nine. Tenth frame for Rob. On the head right, in the right. pocket, drops eight. Five to ten for Linehan in the first game. Rob really wants to get this one here. And he's on it. Oh, just cherry picks it. Wow. So is it going to be a 100 even or a 101? That's a 100 even first game for Rob Linehan. A little under average. A few tough boxes in there, but I'm sure he's just warming up. Jeremy looking to take control of this, this first game here. A couple marks will give him a solid lead. Yeah, he's already 15 over his box, so he... Great ball in the pocket. He has a throw triangle 35 right half, yeah. Seven now what do you do here, Bob? You gotta take the, the triangle. Yeah, the you the, you're hoping for a splash, I think. Um, Probably on the right side if you can aim that carefully. Look at I that. He did it. He did it. Exactly where oh it was. What a shot by Jeremy. Oh my. I bowled with Jeremy for years too, going back to Natick. Great guy. Awesome bowler, honestly. Just misses the headpin, but still drops oh, nine. Okay. Everything with the seven. Very right, interesting. Rob has to fix that on the scoreboard. So the head pin has fallen twice on uh, his first ball, but we're not giving him credit for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now he's got a nice plank in front, too. That's two in a row. Yeah, he's at 84 with that fill, and now his fifth mark. Jeremy with a great start. Over the head pin. Another nine. <laughs> that wood might get a little closer. No, it's going to stay where it is, but so you have to hit the is pin some, clean. Yeah, is that good? Okay, is it, eight? it says eight up there. Okay. Oh, sorry, you're right. Yep. We'll correct that. That was the official scoreboard, not the one on your screen. The one on your screen is up to date. Jeremy all over, that's three spares oh, in a row. 
Kids on fire. That 113 at a ball in the eight. eight. Jeremy just off the head pin a little bit. Drops five. Four horsemen left in the 10 pin. Seven box of his own. Scored into two points. Yeah, 125 after nine. Not, not too shabby, but Jeremy's kicking himself after that seven box. Another ball right in the pocket. Seven pins wiggling, but it won't go down. Diamond left plus the seven. Little wooden front. Hit it right. Got it. Oh no. The seven pin's still wiggling. Alright. Just so. laughing at you. <laughs> three spares in the first half, three spares in the back half. That's a nice pen for Jeremy. 135 to start. Nice 35 pin lead. Even 35 pin lead for Jeremy Seaholm. Rob Linehan starts the second game on the head pin. Another split though. Rob with the second ball just misses. And we have a glimpse of new. Yeah, Newly right. inducted Hall of Famer Steve Reno helping us out with Rob missing a ball. Just going back there to grab it. Oh, oh great bid for the 10. Starts with a nine box. So big congratulations to all of the people who were inducted over the weekend. Don't want to embarrass myself by not remembering all their names. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> those that we know, uh, there's. <laughs> Tim Matero, Tim Matero, Bobby, Bobby Whitcomb, Mike Coop, Tom Nero, Joey Rosano. Yep. All well deserving entries. Bob Kelly. And Rob just misses to the right of the head pin. Rob Keith. He's at 17 after two. He's a little wilder than usual. <laughs> oh no. That time he wasn't. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> two full. Two full on the head pin for Linehan. Out. He gives it a bid. Right where he wanted it. Ten out of this would be fantastic. Settle for an eight. Rob now at 25 after three. Got to get something going. A couple marks before he sits down would be excellent. He's off the head pin, but he has a spare lead. Best spare lead so far this half. It's the head pin. Oh, doesn't get it to go. You can see the frustration. A couple good balls by oh, no. Rob, but it doesn't, doesn't wait to a spare, unfortunately. 
He's in the tough. I, he's always been in the tough division. Rob, Rob has been in the A's for a few years. I mean, watch. He, he uh, made it to the second round of the playoffs a couple of years ago into the playoffs last year. But uh, I'm telling you that the competition is getting stronger each each year, I would say. And this is, you know, it's a little bit of, uh, it's a couple of different factors. One additional bowlers coming in, but also I think the bowlers that were there are spending more time practicing. Wow. Did you wow. see that? I did. The, the piece of wood that was behind the head pin flipped over to lane 20. <laughs> Good friend Dave Rando practicing <laughs> on that lane. <laughs> hey, and Rob ten. with the 10 cleanup. That's a 44 half for Rob. I'm sure he was hoping for better, but one of the other, another half to go. One of the other factors, of course, bowling here at Millis, the, uh, the, the lanes are in immaculate condition. Um, the Averages treatments, are way up you know, they, they, they brought back the treatments from the old uh, television days. You know, Steve Reno brought with him the know-how about how, how, how to treat treat things right. Yeah, pins are flying here now. Uh, speaking just from my own experience, you know, generally uh, last year I ended up with you know, 114 average. This year I'm up 120. So. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, Jeremy you with a big... You don't think you got better? <laughs> <I don't... laughs> Hard to say. <laughs> but I'll take every bit. <laughs> Jeremy with a tough first ball, a little pull in the head pin, had three on the left, two on the right, gave it a good bid for the spare, but just missed the... Uh... Starts out with a nine. We're even so far. <laughs> Finished boxes in this game. Even though one, one box. That's a great ball from Jeremy. So, he's so stable. You, 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 you look at him, he's so stable in his footwork on Absolutely. that delivery. Always so balanced and smooth. Yep. Absolutely. Waiting for that one to settle. Not sure he likes the, the angle in front of the uh, six man there. Oh, oh just trying to play it high. All right. Just missed. Yeah, that's a that's a tough angle with that one. If you go right at the pin, it's not gonna go. Let's see. Yeah, that was it. You had to that was that what he was high. in for. I, I see now, yeah. I had the privilege with uh, bowling on the same team as Jeremy in the Wednesday Night Lake here for years. Great teammate. Head pin falls through no agency of his own. Yeah, I, I was just trying to, uh, looking at the footwork for Jeremy, I think you had, you'd call it a three-step approach, but he does move his his, uh, his right foot first. So there's like, see that? There's a, like a quarter, maybe a three and a quarter step approach. Yeah. A couple quick steps and then your, your classic three-step. Whatever it is, it works for him. He stays so balanced, so smooth. Okay. Almost always hitting his shots. Seven to ten on the head pin in the first string. He's uh, one for three here so far in game two. Nine box, okay. Right, so he's, he's got a few pins. My observation, my, you watched him for years. Uh, didn't he used to throw a little bit more from the left side? It's, it's a little more direct. He's a little more, yeah, definitely um, centered now. Absolutely. He he still throws the ball with a little bit of a left to right spin. But you're right. You know, he used to start further left on plane on the approach. In the early days of my uh, when I was chasing chasing these guys around and. Uh, Making observations. Good bid. Oh, 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 oh. No. That was shot the by two. Jeremy. That was the two four ten, was it not? It was. What a shot. That's what Jeremy does. That's what these guys can do. These amazing shots. Sent the pair into the corner. Bill ball has a oh, lot of action. Not? Why a lot not? of action. That seven pin still wiggling. Miss the head pin, but leave the 7-10. 46 through 4. Not bad. Lots of wood on the deck. 
What I was going to say is that when he was coming from the left side more, um, I, I, I recorded a whole bunch of his games, did, did a statistical analysis, and he was actually getting three quarters of the time when he hit the right pocket, you know, the crossover pocket, he was getting a spare. Uh, get the seven to go. But uh, it was only only around 35% of the, of the time when he was throwing it directly into the one one two pocket that he was getting a spare lead. And uh, I, I think the straight the straighter approach, especially with the action we're seeing here, here at Millis, I, it's serving him very well. I, I think it's definitely helped. Absolutely. So that's a 56 half for Jeremy. One mark. The only mark of the game for either bowler so far. Rob looks to change that here. He had some good luck on lane 22 last game. Let's see what he can do here. On the head pin, oh, but no. with a spread eagle. Three splits off a head pin so far in this game. Yeah, this is, so here at, at Ryan's in Millis, they, they track the splits with red numbers up on the scoreboard, and he's got three of them in this game already. Rob looking to work it out, grabs the 10. That's a hey, I'll take a 10 after a spread eagle every, any day. 20% of pro bowlers make 10s when they make spread eagles. 20%, huh? Or 20% of the time, yeah. pro bowlers do, anyway. Right on the head pin again. It. Almost takes them all, leaves, every, leaves just the seven pin. You know, he's going to have to ride the rails on it, this one. It, as a lefty, it's his favorite. Uh, not really. <laughs> He did it earlier and he does it again now. First mark in the second string for Rob Linehan. For Rob to get back in this match here, I'll have to load this up and grab a couple more. On the head pin again. All right. Drop six. So with this setup, this might work well for his ball. This is actually the spare that he made to win the. Uh, right at that three pin. That wood is set up. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was that, that, that same leap. The nope. spare that doesn't have a name, the cross, the cross yeah. spare. So, what was that? Three, it was 2007. Yeah. Good 10 out of that. He's right at his box, 80 yeah, through 8. I know four grand. Yeah. Oh, you don't know? <laughs> hey. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Oh, this is another good ball by Rob. Leaves the triangle right. Yeah, this is another. We are live on the air right now. <laughs> Want to jump in? We got, we, we got a friend of, of Paul. What's One your name? Dexter. Dexter? Hi. Yeah. Dexter. See if Rob can take this. For the spare, no. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, the road runner, Rod Limahan, his third ball in the ninth. And he misses just the five. The fingerprint. Dexter, you coming in to sub tonight? Yeah. All right. All right, let's go. Subbing now on the mic for Matt Rich. Another triangle. Another triangle. The four. What, what number is that? Four, five, and eight. Is that correct? Uh, I believe and so. And it's reversed. And it's reversed. That's going. All right. Needed that to get to uh, get get over a hundred. All right. Linehan hampered by four splits in this half. He really That's started coming on. Seven, four, and seven, four, and, and uh, eight. Or is that, what number is that? The yeah, that would be the uh, two, four, seven. Two, four, seven. And, he's, and now Rob is going to sit down with a fifth, with a 106. Jeremy Seaholm now okay. at 56 after his first half has to throw a 50 side to tie, okay. 51 to win. All right. All right. All right. Jeremy won the one string one, 135 to 100. Linehan, who struggled a bit at the beginning of this game, but he also was hampered by the. Uh, All right, he's the got splits. the goalpost, the seven and the ten. He's got one on the right and a little bit off to the left. Now 
would you play this way? Uh, right side. Oh, right, I would take the right, but he missed it, so he ends up with a um, get the seven, but not the ten. Paul Grant special, missed the second, get the third. Let's go. And he All got right. it, and he converts it. All right, thank you very much, You're Dexter. Welcome. Let's let Matt back yeah. in. Thank you. <laughs> that was a ten. Thank you for seeing home in the six. Thank you to Dexter for giving a little of his insight. Jeremy threw a good ball on the head pin, but not getting much to show for it. I don't know, you did get tricky with this one, Bob? Maybe clip that four penny in the wood? That's what oh. he's trying to do. No, I uh -huh. remember <laughs> on the when he made the two four seven earlier, you just, just bobber that uh, front pin yep. and you can get it bouncing off. You know, here, here at Millis now, if you get it to bounce off the wall, you have a chance of it taking anything out on the yep. other side. All right, now, Seaholm now has to mark. He has moved to uh, five over his box, and Linehan at six over his box. All over the head pin. Again, again, left yep. on the split. Wow. Unfortunate. I've seen Jeremy make a few clutch shots in my day. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes. Wow. Good bid. That, you know, that is five splits in a row for Seaholm. You know, we talked about maybe he's having some better luck now that he's moved moved over to the center. That is one of the side effects of moving to the center. Yeah. Uh, five, five in a row and six out of uh, eight boxes have been splits here in the second string. Nine in the eighth, he's at 84. Two boxes to go, he's gonna need to mark at least one of them. He does have that 35 pin lead after the first game for the match. All right, bad news is he missed the head pin. The good news, he's got a two pinner. It's the Millis eight. That's, that's what we've started calling the Millis eight around here. The one might, three. might serve him better than not, not hitting the head pin. Well, he's, <laughs> he's 14 for 19 through first 19 boxes. There it is, there's the mark he was looking for. It's not the way bowling's supposed to work exactly. <laughs> You never know in this crazy game. <laughs> Tip it, normally it's 40% uh, of head pins get turned into splits. Jeremy well above that right now. All over the head pin again. Drops All nine right. this time. Great film. That will give him enough to take the second game. Let's see by how much. Yep. Jeremy all over the seven wow. pin for yep. another mark. Is that 113 with a ball. Jeremy took the first game, 135 to 100, and he'll take this second game, 120 to 106. Another, another 14 pins to add to the total. All right. Three spares for Seaholm, two for Linehan. In the second, so we erase that. Move on to the third string. Linehan right off. On the pocket again. Nothing fun to shoot at. That wood might help if it gives him a good angle. He may want to play this way left, try to sweep it. No, nope. going right at the pins, but unfortunately right through the hole. Oh. Yeah, Rob, make sure it's two here. Yep. Starting his third game just as he did his second with a nine. Boom. And that's. Ball on the head pin again. Is that number four? No. 
was his third third spread eagle. The other one was a, a pocket two, a pocket five and one. Yeah. Or had Mexican one. Yeah. Yeah. Not, get, not getting any love off the head. That is today. brutal. That's a, I mean, you, you can handle it. Well, Seaholm handled it well. He, he had his uh, six splits and uh, still pulled off a 120. But when you're struggling and you, also, you get the splits on the on the odd ball, you, you know, get the head hit only a few times. It's just brutal. And he, he you know, did huh. two out of three options, got that, a six. And that just eats at your confidence, yeah. too. It's like you're missing the head pin, missing the head pin, and then you finally hit the head pin and you hit a spread eagle. <laughs> Drop six, and this might be an okay lead. If he could play the right side of that wood and sweep it, take the seven. Like this. He gives it. it, it oh, he Is hit it. Gonna it. Go? He got it. He does. It. Oh, that was what a, a, a Linehan special. What a shot. <laughs> That was set up for his ball, though. Yeah, the ball going back and <laughs> forth like that, right? You're going to want to load this up, make it a match. Ow! Not what he was looking for there. Let's see if he can work this out, though. Takes a bunch. Drop takes one for an eight box. He's at 35 after four with a mark. Not going to be happy with that, but he's still plenty of time to come back. Drop right in the pocket this time. Looking for more. Why not? Why not? Drops everything but the five pin. Not bad. Wood out in front. I don't think it'll hurt him if he goes right at it. He does. Oh no! Oh. And it, it doesn't hurt it. go. Yeah, you're right. Rough. So rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rob's not happy right now. He's very frustrated. I can't blame him. Blame him. Tough, but tough 45 half with one to spare. Linehan finishes the first half. Score of 251. And uh, he was 14 of 25 on the head pin, 56%. And uh, six spares. Jeremy coming in, winning the first two games so far. See if he can keep that going. Off to the right just a bit. Takes four. Jeremy, 15 of 20 on the head pin through his first two. A little yank there by Jeremy. Let's see if he can clean this up for a 10. Hey, he found the head pin on the third ball. Start for the nine. Not usually when you want to hit that head pin on the third ball. <laughs> there it is on the first ball. Wow. Takes them all. That looked like a strike the whole way. Our first, first one strike, of the match. Yeah. By either bowler. First fill ball right in the pocket. Steve's 7 10. Right. So you definitely want to make sure a one here. Personally, I'd probably shoot for the one with the wood in front, the 10 pin, see if something can send over to the 7. But it's the wood, just plus the 10 perfectly. Taking the house. Taking the house. Jeremy with a 10. He's at 38 after three. <laughs> 
An 11 pin lead, box to box here in the third. He leads in the match four to nothing. Why you want to jump in? The 42 pin lead. Jeremy back on the head pin. You're up seven. What's that? Seven pin, eight pin, and five pin? So Jeremy now 18 for 24. He, he may want to go way right on the wood, spin it. Or he may want to go right at the five pin. That, way right on the wood, but... That, that one was out of the channel. That would have been a foul ball, but a foul pin, but now he can go at it. It's 10. Trying to get as many as he can here. Oh, and that yeah. was the one he got? Yep, yep. <laughs> that, that's what you're worried about if you're going right at the five. See on 46 through four, six over. It was the right idea to play the wood on the right. Right on the pocket again. Takes them all again. Look at that. Wow. Another strike. Two strikes in the half. <laughs> Jeremy likes the ball he threw in the fourth box better than the, either of the strikes. <laughs> well, four straight head pins after missing the front pin in the first. Here in the third string for Seaholm. Sits down at 56 with two balls. All right, Rob's got to step up here. All right, that's a good head pin hit. Drop seven, three all together. Needs to start marking to make this a match. Just misses his object left. game. After losing the first two, Rob's got to string together a few marks. He's in at 54 after six. With Jeremy sitting on the strike bill, definitely need to step it up here. Get a good, good lead here. Hit that head pin with the wooden back, that should help. Bounce it. Off the head pin. Counted five steps in Rob's approach that time. She keeps stats on that. Uh, hits the head pin very lightly. I think that one was four. Up with a nine box here. So three boxes to go this game. Rob's got to have at least two, two marks here. How about good ball? Oh, I saw a piece of wood coming right at the two pins that were still up, but it came off the deck. Big shot here from Rob, and he gets it. There's a mark. One thing I love about the candle bit community, you know, Jeremy's back here, he's, he's in a head-to-head -head matchup with him, but he's still rooting for Rob, saying mark all the way out. It's a five fill, six fill, sorry. Uh, just misses the head pin. We're going to clean this up here. Grabs the 10. That was a 5 fill on the mark. Is it a 5 fill? It was a 5 fill. Hey, Rob. Rob, you want to change that to a 5 fill? Hey, I hate taking pins away from him. But yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Did I do it right? Yeah, no, I, I actually gave it to him because I was, I was following the scoreboard up there. Yeah, it was, it was a Kaliri, right? Four horsemen yes. in, the, yes. in the sleeper. Yeah. Oh, good ball. Looking for, looking for another one to fall, but not that one. Oh, my. <laughs> All right. Wow. Four, six, nothing to help. Nice head pin, huh? 
Oh, and he almost does it. What a bid. It'll be a nine box for Rob. 97 game, 96 game, sorry. That's right. That, that, should, been, that should be a nine, right? Change that. that that's a 97 game. That's right. 88 and 97. All right. The scoreboard giveth and the scoreboard taketh away. Yeah, you got to keep an eye on these automatic scoring systems sometimes. All right. Rob's frustrated, but watch out. Jeremy looking to build a strike. Boom. And, oh, oh, it's wriggling. Oh, nice. The two pieces pinned it in place. It was on its way down. He's trying to get the crowd to blow it over. <laughs> Great first ball. Nine drop and a plank. What do you dream of? Easy spare for Jeremy. That spare on strike for Jeremy. In the sixth frame here, looking to take a commanding lead in the match. Another ball on the head pin. Little pull. Drop six, but I think he likes the setup. Hit that two pin with a piece of wood angled right at the ten. Why not? Why not? It. There not? it goes. That's nice three call. marks in a row for Jeremy. Nice call, man. I knew he liked that setup. Seaholm's 11th spare. Pulling the head back again, but drop seven. Not, not quite as nice of a setup as last box. All right, he's now one game three. Don't want to shoot the six pin over to take the seven. Takes the six and seven, leaves the ten. Wow, what a bid. <laughs> nice ten box by Jeremy. Is that 109 in the eighth. Two boxes to go. He's already got, like you said, Bob, he's already got this third game. Looking to really extend the lead in the match. Okay, this is the one that needs a name. It's a it's an it's an eagle wing in front of a triangle. It's you know, it, 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 to be pedantic, it's the uh, one three six five eight nine. You, you can only beat it with a with a spread eagle ball. True. But it happens a lot. I mean, if, you, if you're on the outside of your of your. Uh, Two pin or outside of your three pin, you get that lead, and that you deserve it. I mean, it's a, it, you should. It's a four fill. It's a good ten out of that. Yep. I'm trying to think of a good name. Now you have me thinking. <laughs> it's a well, wing over triangle. <laughs> yeah, that's just not poetic. One nineteen for C home through nine in game three. All in the pocket again. Drops nine. Looking for one more mark to close it out. See home 77% through three straights. <laughs> Jeremy had 129 with a ball. Man. Another good ball. Drops nine again. Going my wow. eight game from Jeremy. Going a great ball. Statisticians in the candle pin world always wonder what to do with an eleventh rack, whether you count that as a head pin or not. I've decided not to. For the purposes of my ACST coverage, I do I do it at home though. I do count those as head pins when I'm doing it at home. But see home 23 of 30 through three. And uh, has it had a 393, 393 
for his uh, great, great, great three stringer. He's got five though. And here's a nine drop from Rob Linehan. Great start first things ball. off. We'll clear this. Rob all over it, and it goes. Good start in the fourth game for Rob Linehan with a mark. Exactly how Rob wanted to start this fourth game. A little fall in the head pin, trying to break up the split. Ah, there it goes. Maybe more. Nope. All right, we got a triangle left with a piece of wood in front. Got it, Mark. Not a bad leave at all. Rob right on it. Two spares in a row for Rob Linehan. See if Rob can keep it going. Got to cut up and clean it up. In the pocket again. Oh, left with a split, the 5 10. I have seen Rob hit this before, though. With his ball. No. Gives it a shot. Oh! What a ball! What a ball by Rob. 5'10, no wood, makes it look easy. Three spares in a row for Rob. For help here. Oh, and he gets coming, it. Coming, coming, oh, good! That's a strike for Rob. Wow. Who needs that? All right. Four in a row for Linehan. 55 through three, 65 and two balls. Look at him in the fourth. He, he's feeling so good. He just wants to get up there and keep going. He doesn't need anything to wait it. <laughs> good first ball. This sets up nicely for him with that wooden back. Gives it a ride. And that's five marks in a row to start for Rob Linehan. Exactly what he needs to get back in the match. Set that up, 85 in a ball. Comments from the peanut gallery here. What a start, Rob. 85 in a ball. Yeah, he was, five marks in a row. He was five and five on the head pin in that set too. It was just except about, for the strike. Oh, except for the strike. That's right. You, 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 made, you didn't get a head pin out of that. Jeremy with a strike to start. <laughs> so Jeremy with three. Jeremy doesn't want Rob to get back in this match. First fill ball, off to the right of it. We got the four horsemen left. It was at the seven fill for Jeremy, so we're, okay. we're even after after the first frame. The nine box for Jeremy. See a lot of people there. You know, they're, they're going to still try to shoot for that head pin, try to get the ten. Jeremy makes sure the two settle for a nine box, but. It, it, it depends on it, on your situation. Yep. Early in the game, though. Oh, do it again. There it goes. <laughs> Strike number four. <laughs> See if we need to clear that wood on lane 21. Nope, we're good. Now he's going up against Rob Spare in the fourth frame. Rob wow. Strike in the first frame. That's, well, that's my kind of break. Oh, still going. Oh, wait a minute, no, he got one of those No longer the two pair. On the first ball. So he could either go for the two pins on the right, make sure of a nine fill for the strike, or he could go for the spare and play the wood. If he goes for the wood, he just takes one. Get what you can, stay with it. All right. Sure, 
Curry picks the six, and that's a nine box. So he's at 53 after four, and he's going up against, in the fifth frame, Rob Spare. Jeremy looking for a mark of his own. Right in the pocket. Goodbye. Is he going to get a third oh. strike? Oh, you Ironically enough, with the automatic reset, you never know. We had one earlier. Jeremy right at it. Oh! Caught the cap and just couldn't go. Make, <laughs> want a piece for those, yeah. Like, like Rob's earlier when he caught the cap on the five pin. Yeah. All right. I that's, what he, that's what he was shooting for. Scorpion tail, right? <laughs> Still a good half by Jeremy, 63. All right, a 22 pin lead for Linehan, game, game four. Wants to bring it home. Oh! Just missing the head pin. A washout, yep. Hey, Micah. Rob was going to run down the four horsemen. I think it gave him an extra pin. I think it gave him an extra pin. I did, yeah. Okay. Missed that one. Thanks, Micah. And a seven. The seven oh, back. the dreaded seventh back. No, no. 96 Rob, through six. He's 36 over. <clears throat> looking to get Mark back on that, that Mark trade. Tacoon. Off to the right just a bit. Another, another split. Rob needs to find that ball he was throwing in the first half. On the head pin. Oh, gave it a shot. Hey, how, how about that 8-10, though? And you called and said that he'd done it, you've seen him do it before. That, that is one of the rares. I mean, with no wood. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, he just throws such an active ball. If he hits that, that left side of the pin and throw it over, I've seen him do it a lot. Okay, Linehan, right, on the right head back. Pin. Takes wow. the ball. There we go. Rob Linehan with another strike. His second strike of the match. Sixth mark of the game. You notice with Rob, when he's feeling good, he just wants to keep going. He doesn't want to wait. Looking for a double. Drops nine. Right at it. The spare on strike. Okay. Rob's at one thirty-five and a ball on the ninth. That's easily his best game so far tonight. Looking to it. a twelve. I, I, build on that. This is the hip and right. Uh, the four fill, but this could go for him. Oh, just misses the head pin. I think he moved it over a little bit in his last ball. Oh, that's an eight box for Rob to finish, but still a great game. 147 it is. Good game, Rob. Well, Jeremy needs a big half to keep up with that. Uh, 84 specifically to tie. Oh, that's what Rob threw in the first. Uh, he threw an 80, <laughs> actually an 89 with the fill. Yep. So this is the lane. Oh, well, the, the, these are the two lanes where uh, Petey Crawford threw his uh, 220. That's right. Seven, right? Right. Then during the Friday, 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 Friday Night Pro League, right? right? Jeremy looking for a beautiful one here. No. Cherry picks the ninth pin. All right, give you a sense of where he needs to go. Seaholm now at 72 through 6 is 12 over. He has to get himself to 48 over. So he's going to have to have all, yeah. you know, okay. basically all marks and. Going to need a couple strikes. 40. 
you know, 30, 37, I think. <laughs> Bill Balls. Okay, going to yeah. need a lot of help. Another split for Seaholm. That's his third of the game. You know, for, for a good pocket, it's, it's a tough lead, but that wood is going to be a huge help on the right. Right there. Yep. Whoa! I knew he liked how that lined up. These two in a ball. Strike fill here would be huge. Just off the head then, though. Four, four horsemen left in the ten. Pit. Oh, he's in a bid. Ten pin doesn't want to go. Good shot. Very tough for Jeremy to catch Rob in this game. Good ten. Ninety-seven. Still room for uh, four. <laughs> Yes, that, that would do it. That would do it. He, <laughs> he does need uh, 50 to tie. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not going to happen. So, uh, little, little pull in the head pin, two points for Rob Linehan on the 147. After games of 100, 106, and 97, he wakes up. This isn't a terrible lead for Jeremy. Let's see if it goes. Right there. Boom. Oh, wait a second. Wow. <laughs> Jeremy looking for one more mark to sit down in the fourth. All right. Match lead is 50, though. Um, he, hit, he built up so much. Yeah, he had a great lead buffer, going yeah. into this game. Thirty-one head pins out of the first forty boxes for Seaholm. Seventy-eight percent. That is a top pro rate. Gives it a bid. Great bomb. That, actually, seventy-eight percent um, actually matches uh, Tom Olson's channel really? five. At least of the games that I kept score of. His head pin rate. Or it, that, was, that was his object rate, actually. Usually the head pin rate and the object rate are the Anytime same. Anytime you can have yep. your name mentioned in the same sentence as Tom Holtz, you're doing something right. Yep, the other one at 78%, I remember Steve Badney. Anyway, that was a 117. All right, one to one more to go. Welcome if you just joined us. Wednesday evening, and we're getting we're getting ready for league here. Rob Linhan's got a got five more coming in just a minute. But uh, after a red hot start in the fourth, see five spare, four, three spares in a row, a strike and another spare. Oh, good bid, unbelievable. Rob looking to start the fifth game the way he started the fourth, but couldn't get that one to go. Seven pins just glued down. Now off the right a little bit. They're all together. What's the uh, what's the match difference at this point? So Jeremy took the first three. Rob, Rob took the last one, so we're looking at a it's 50, really a, 51 yeah, pin match lead at the minus moment. The, oh, minus the nine yeah. that he just threw. Yeah. It's really a 42. For, he has to win by 42. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Jerry picks that one pin for an eight box. He's at 17 after two. Rob looking to get something going here. He wants to really eat into that lead that Jeremy's got after the first four games. 
Triangle right, seven pin, wood in the middle. You can go right in the triangle, right? Yeah, this is a little bit like the one that Jeremy made. Just missed it. Yeah, you, you can hit one. Yeah, I think you hit that flush and it goes because the. As long, as long as the 10 pin carries on the flush hit with his left to right ball, you have a chance of splashing things back like that. that was nice it. 10. What that a 10. Was it. That would have got it. Cool to watch that shot being made, even if it's a 10. Yeah. A little light on the head, then. Sure. You got a name for this, Lee, didn't you? Well, I called it a cross, you know. <laughs> If you figure, what is this, uh, Route 109 goes kind of north-south, or either north-southwest, north, -south, north, -south, north -south. Oh, what a oh! shot by Rob! Linehan, the one he did use to, to win New England candle pins back in 2019, I think, or 18 or 19. He had to make that in the 10th tenth, tenth box. Pins are afraid of him now. Against Matt. Oh, uh, because of the G? Sorry. <laughs> anyway. I know Matty well, I can't remember his. Bull, yeah, he bowls out of Metro. Pen. pen. Oh. pen oh. oh, wait. I'm embarrassing myself. You know, it's a different bat than what I was thinking yeah. of. All right, another. How's that a head pin? What what happened there? One, so it's a nice one two, three, left and left four, left. and then the nine. This wood could help them. Oh! Come on, hit it hard. It's right where he wanted it. Not much you can do there. I'm looking for the ten, and he gets it. All right. I think that's the only way that goes. Well, after uh, starting with five straight marks in the fourth, this time he has four out of five splits. And as a result, a score of 52. He was, he was right, his object rate was very good. It's but amazing, isn't it? Like, you, you, just, you, you, yeah. get, you get the breaks one half, you hit the same, same pocket the next half, you get left with nothing. How about that shot? Beautifully played right down the middle and a terrible, terrible split. What do you do with this ball? Spin the wood, uh, see what happens? Pick a side. Yeah, I'd spin the wood. Just take the 10. Or Jeremy will just try to get a 9 box out of this. Did I make the pick? Nine for Seaholm. It's his third straight. First box nine. Seaholm uh, was at five ten to his first four. Rob Linham was at four fifty. Jeremy, a little wow. in there. The All box right. nine. Stop. Right, now we're going to get to see that uh, reverse ball from Seal, that left to right ball. Uh, Ooh, nope. Missed it by a hair. Seal, when he was, uh, when he came up, made the uh, Channel 5 show. He was throwing the ball 39 to 40 miles an hour. I, I've done it. Yeah, you can it's hard to imagine. The video, yeah, you can figure it out from the video. If, if it takes a second to get down, you, 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 you yeah. have frame by frame uh, 60 feet, and you yeah. do your uh, statistics. Now he is throwing closer to 32 out of the hand, 20, 29 by the time it, it hits the head pin. Okay. So he's not throwing it quite as hard as yeah. maybe his younger days. No, but he but is still coming, just as accurate. That's right. He's coming off his best season uh, anyway, at the Worlds, yeah. anyway. Yep. You know that was that was a uh, bucket list. <laughs> one, one that yeah. it may be on your bucket list. It's not not achievable for most people to win the ICBA Worlds like that. This is that ten pin again. I know. Yeah. I just, 
I could see how proud he was with, with him and that how well he bowled that week. And you know, his whole yeah. team really performed. The Tor Corey Packard, yep. uh, Justin Waters, Sean Taylor. A lot of guys that bowl here out of Millis. Yep. Of course, uh, Danny, Danny Harris, the oh, MVP. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, bowling anchor he for was him. on fire. And they had Sean Taylor on the bench. <laughs> yeah. The ACST champion from the year before. That was a strike ball, but unfortunately it was a second shot. Hammer ball! <laughs> <laughs> Did you set, set call, call out every time that happens? <laughs> Get a couple here, just good one. All right. Open at 35. Everybody's definitely going to want to mark here before he sits down. Either that or he's going to try to tie Rob's four splits. Um, Not something that you're really looking to do. No, well, <laughs> if you're a little perverse. He is, uh, Jeremy, a big fan of horror, and that would be a, a good theme in a candlepin horror movie. Fair point. The guy, the guy hits every head pin and, and splits it every time. Yeah. Yeah, trying to think of a, a nightmare situation, that would be it. <laughs> Uh, head pin falls again. It's afraid of him. He's hit. He's hit. <laughs> so far, he's hit 35 of 40, 44 head pins. That head pin has no desire to stand up there. He's going to get an ankle injury. It's going to, you know. While we're waiting for the pins here, I just want to you know, don't know if we'll have another chance to just say to everyone going up to the Worlds next week, you know, the good luck. Yeah. Right on the head pin there. Oh, that... Can he take some more? Oh, no. Oh, it no. How did he fall. move both of them and not e knock either of them? If he'd hit one of them, they might have hit each other, bounced into each other, but it was the fact that he hit both at the same time, they, they move so gently. He's got to split the 3-6 and send that wood over. Oh! oh. Maybe hit it just a little full. So he's going to be open for the first you know half what? here. And he did have his fourth split, by the way. Yeah. So each, each bowler with four splits to start string five. Seaholm at 45, open. Rod Lin Rob Linehan managed to get us a, a spare with a five fill, you know, again with a split. So he's got seven. Rob's got a seven pin lead this game, but still down quite a bit in the match. Yeah. Linehan can't afford to count on. I don't, I don't think you want to expect Jeremy to be open. He, he definitely needs a number of marks to close this out if he wants to have any chance. Oh. Seven pin lead. That's an eight block. Good hand now it even down. with his box at sixty. On the head pin. Oh, looking for the 710 to break up, but it doesn't. Split number five for Linehan in the fifth string. Third ball. Through the wickets, yep. Yeah. 68 in the seventh. Why'd you throw him off like that? <laughs> Rob Linhan's first ball in the eighth. Crosses over again. Just off to the right again. Yep. Yeah. Looks like he's gone back to that you know, sort of flat ball here. Unfortunately. Right in the oh, pocket there. Oh, Could it hit oh it no, it take didn't. It. 
it, it, it hit something. It, it, I'm not going to hit it hard enough, no. It went up the ramp. It was ready to skateboard down on it, but uh, you see it wiggle and it stopped. It's a good 10 out of that. A couple more chances. Probably just string a few strikes together. Oh, that's There's the one. ball. Oh! Yeah. Those went down quick. Strike number three in the match for Linehan. Can he do it again? Not quick. Look, looking to take at least a couple out of this. That's a, that's a tough beat. On the head. Oh! Pieces of wood spinning everywhere, but it takes two. All right. Bob ends up with a nine here. 105. 105. So. Still has a chance for another two points here. Yeah, lit it. Jeremy needs 60. Look at that. The, the total is tied. That's the good news for Linehan. What's the bad news, man? The bad news is Jeremy still has five boxes to go. Oh. <laughs> All right, and with that, we will award four points to Jeremy Seaholm for the total. Question here is uh, Rob can take more than two. That'll be up to Jeremy here. What a oh. bid! What a bid! The violin bow there. <laughs> Saw it across the, the shins on that seven pin, almost made it fall forward. Just off to the right, nine blocks. Jeremy's got four frames to go. If he wants to take this this game. Yep. You're going to have to mark probably in two. Looks like he let up on the gas a little bit on that ball. Time out for Jeremy's bowling ball is not coming back. <laughs> Did Jeremy hit the head pin in the six? I can't remember. Come on, Lance Armstrong. You can do it, buddy. Six. Yeah, yeah, he split. He did. He hit that thing. I don't remember what I had for breakfast today, Bob. Okay. <laughs> so we've got 37 through 47 so far. Good friend Brian Fournier's back there looking for Jeremy's small ball. They're all probably piled up in a corner. Yeah, that seems to happen. Maybe he's on his way back, so. All right, so specifically, Jeremy needs. What just happened here? He's at 54 in the six. And he will be needing uh, 51 pins in the next four. So, yeah, not, he, he, he absolutely, would, absolutely would need two marks. Did I go 555? Five, five, five? Yes, you did. With a big 147. <laughs> it was a 408 plus a 147. It was a lot of. That was a hog. Oh, yeah, you want to go? Oh, yeah, go yield from the score sheet. Oh! A good couple pins for Jeremy there. All right. But he needs 42 in the next three boxes, so. Definitely not impossible. Basically, get, get tougher as we get to Two spares and 13 on the fills. And, and that 10 pin falls, could it all go? That helps. Oh. That helps a lot. Drops nine, nothing in the way. Oh, oh, he misses it left. Yeah. <laughs> It'll mean something. Yeah. 
for the 10. There you go. All right, so with two boxes to go, still some work to do. Needs two marks. Bills of six and seven. Good work. 13, 13 on the bills. Off the head, bitch. Drop seven, though. This one you have to go for the head pin. Either side of the head pin may do it. Oh, and Jeremy just misses left. Yeah. Now we're in double strike territory. Yes, exactly. Bob Linehan. Likely to salvage four points out of this match. See, Ohm needing a 25 box. He has four strikes on the day. That will do it. Rob Linehan wins games four and five with a big 147 and then a little 105. A little, a little in A terms, anyway. Jeremy Seal looking for a. Looking for a mark out of this. Yeah, can't get it. It's not going to happen. Needs one for a 90. Actually, needs one for 600 also. So let's. <laughs> and that'll be a 599. for Jeremy. Huh? Oh, wait. They gave it. What happened? Did I count that wrong? No. Jeremy have a, have a nine in the... Oh, he, no, he had a nine in the ninth. Box. He had a nine in the ninth? Okay. Yep. That's 600 then. Due to my uh, miscount. There we go. Well, thanks to everybody. So that, for that ends up being a 600. <laughs> All right. Just, Matt, you can give, give us the farewell if you like. Yeah, thanks thanks to everybody for joining us for this match. Final score, 555 for Rob Linehan, 600 even for Jeremy Seaholm. Rob takes four points in the match, Jeremy takes 10. Um, On 78% head pins, um, Linehan, 58%. Actually, out outgunned him in terms of spares, at least, at least unofficially. Time for us to get the lead, Matt. Absolutely. Let's have, have some fun. Right. Rob's got to bowl another five games now. <laughs> <laughs>